teachers. It's Sam from New Line here. And in this video, we are continuing our Connecting to New Line Cast series of videos. So we've talked about how to connect your Windows device, how to connect with your Chromebook. Now we're going to talk about how to connect with other devices like a tablet or your phone. Now, if you're wondering why you would ever want to do that, I do have a really cool idea for you that I'll share in this video. Uh, but if you happen to have an iPad, a tablet, your cell phone, you can connect those to your new line panel as well. So in this video, I'm going to be using my iPad to connect. I would be able to do the same thing with an iPhone, an Android phone, or an Android tablet. Now, with your tablet or your phone, you're going to have two options for connecting. If you are using an iPad or an iPhone, you can go to the Apple App Store and download the Display Note application. If you're using it for iPad, you're going to download the one that says Display Note for iPad. And if you're using it for your phone, you're just going to download the Display Note app. It's a little black square with the letters D and in the middle. Now, you also have the ability to AirPlay from Apple devices as well. The big differentiator, though, with AirPlay is that it requires either your phone or your iPad to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your new line panel. So if you don't happen to be on the Wi-Fi at school, either on your phone or on your tablet, it will not allow you to AirPlay. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you are using an Android phone or an Android tablet, you can go into the Google Play Store on that device to download the Display Note application. So first, I'm going to show you how to connect through the app, and then we'll talk about AirPlay. So if I open up the Display Note application on my iPad, it is going to turn sideways for me, so I'm going to turn it to the side here. And again, I'm just going to enter my session ID. So that's that six-digit set of numbers here. And I'm going to hit Connect. Now, while I'm connecting, you are going to see me appear up here in the queue. Remember, because of that moderator mode that we turned on, I do not have the ability to present until I am invited by the teacher. So that applies to your devices as well, like your mobile phones or your iPads and tablets. That will apply as well. Same thing with AirPlay. You cannot just AirPlay up to the panel with moderator mode on you are still going to have to be invited. So remember, if I just want to see my iPad, I can tap on the name of the device and just invite that one screen to present. If I have moderator mode turned on and I want to use grid view, I can also see up to four devices simultaneously. So I'm going to act like I'm doing presentations today. I'm going to tap on grid view, and then I would see the list of students that are connected. Now, remember the default is four. If you've turned on that unlimited connections in the settings, remember then you could have up to 100 devices connected at a time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and invite myself here and I'm just gonna follow the prompts on my iPad. Now my screen is gonna appear here in a second and I don't have anything too, too fun on my iPad, but of course anything I show here will go up to my panel as well. And I do get the rotational component, which is really cool. So if you prefer to have it this way, you can go ahead and change that orientation just by shifting. Now, my favorite thing that I have ever seen a teacher do with their iPad or their phone is actually go into the camera app because then I have a mobile document camera and you're getting to see my whole office set up here so you can see me recording me recording you um, while I'm using my camera here. But I can then walk around my classroom and if I have anything that I want to show my students, but maybe I don't want them to touch, maybe it's a geode or maybe I don't have space for all my kiddos to come up. This mobile document camera is a really, really cool option. I, of course, could use any apps um, like this whiteboarding freeform app. So if I wanted to pull something up and write on it, you can see I was testing that out here. I can still continue writing from my iPad and that's gonna appear up on the screen. Just like with your Chromebook and your Windows device, I can put this in full screen as well. So I have those two arrows in the top right-hand corner here. That is going to put this in full screen and this is a great time to turn it sideways because it takes up a little bit more space. Once I finish presenting from my iPad, I can tap those two arrows again and move on to the next person. I do also have that X button there. If again, something goes up that you don't want to, or a student's having a hard time disconnecting, you can tap that X button and put them right back in the queue. And it will also, of course, close out of their screen. Now, the other option we have in addition to the Display Note app is to use AirPlay. Uh, in the case of my iPad and iPhone, or if I have an Android device, I could Google Cast or Chromecast up as well. 
So I'm gonna exit grid view down here in the bottom left. And I'm actually going to disconnect myself by tapping on my name and hitting disconnect, just so we don't get confused. Now, if I want to airplay, it is just like airplaying from my phone. So all I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna get close to the screen here, I'm going to drag down from the bottom. It's hard to do that backwards. I'm gonna drag down from the bottom of the screen and you'll see my two little squares inside each other, which is my screen mirroring option. Now it's actually going to show me this name here as the option to choose. So I'm gonna tap on Q series and you are then going to see my iPad that has now appeared in the queue. So New Lines iPad, you can see me. Just like with the display note application, I can't present anything up here until I'm invited by my teacher. So I'm gonna go into my device just by tapping on that name and hitting invite to present. And there is my iPad with screen mirroring. So same exact thing. I could also use my camera this way as well. So same exact process. I've got the camera there too. So if you prefer AirPlay, that's something that you're really comfortable with. Know that you can go in and use AirPlay as well, as long as that iPad is on the same network as your new line panel. And again, remember you can do this with Android tablets as well as Android phones. And so know if you have those kind of tablets, you are able to cast up to the screen using new line cast as well.